Hi, and welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to uh, talk about uh, circular figures including uh, the cylinders, cones, and spheres. And we're going to specifically talk about uh, figuring out how to calculate the surface area, the uh, volume of uh, cylinders, cones, and spheres. So we're going to have quite a few formulas in this chapter, but uh, I think we'll understand them step by step by just going over them one at a time and understanding how to apply them to uh, the situation at hand. So, so the first thing we want to talk about is a cylinder. Um, you all know what a cylinder is. Just think of a think of a roll of paper towels. You've got uh, you know this thing about this long. It's round and it's this 3D figure that's that's round and, and tubular like that. So we're going to talk first about calculating the surface area of uh, of that object. So let's go ahead and do that. We're looking at the surface area of a cylinder. Surface area of a cylinder. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, just like we always do, is, is, is write the problem down. There's the top of the cylinder. Okay, it goes down. And here's the bottom of the cylinder. Okay, now this cylinder has some radius r. Okay, and this cylinder is some height h. So that's kind of those are kind of the two parameters that describe the cylinder. You've got the, the, the circle part of it, and you know the radius of that circle, and you also know how high or how tall the cylinder is. Okay. Now what we want to do when we calculate the surface area of this thing is what we really want to do is we're looking at the total surface area. That means we're looking at the area of the top uh, face and also the bottom face. Uh, this area here and the bottom part that you really can't see in this drawing, okay? And also you want to, to notice and look at the area of the, uh, the part going all the way around the actual curved part um, of the figure as well, okay? So we have the area of the top, the area of the bottom, and the area of this entire region around uh, like this that we need to worry about. So in order to, to, to understand how we're going to calculate the surface area, let's look at all those pieces. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just pretend, get, have some scissors, and I want to cut this, this cylinder up, and I want to spread it out, and I want to look at all the pieces, okay? And um, we'll, we'll figure out how to calculate the area when we do that. So, um, let's go ahead and do that. If I do that, um, then the top, the top of the surface uh, of the cylinder is going to be represented by a circle, which is what we have here of radius r and let me go ahead and finish spreading it all out here and then, and then I'll explain what we have. The middle part okay, is going to look like a cylinder and let me, let me just draw it and I'll explain what I'm looking at and the bottom part is going to look like another circle. Okay, So what have I done here? Okay, This circle okay is if I cut this thing with some scissors and I kind of spread it out then the surface this is this represents the top piece just this top piece if I were to fold it flat the bottom represents the bottom piece if I were to fold it flat and if I take my scissors and I cut the cylinder and I spread it open this uh, uh, cylindrical piece in the center here is just going to be a rectangle if you just cut you know a paper towel tube and, and spread it flat you can see that this is going to be a um, uh, a cylinder. Okay, so all I need to do to find the surface area of the whole thing is to find the surface area of the top. Okay, the surface area of the bottom. 